Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're going to make a flower gnome. Boop! You don't need a sewing machine, you just need a hot glue gun. Be sure to like this video so I know you are here crafting with me. Now look, from the top these are just a flower. From the side you can see the front sides back everything here. I have a lot of leaves under here just filling it out a little bit. But hey, let's make this. Took less than 20 minutes. I am going to be using some fleece fabric. I'm going to be using fur and a bunch of poinsettias, some kind of weight and some kind of fill. I'm also going to use elastics and twine along with a glue gun, you know, razor or uh, X-Acto knife, scissors, etc. Now I'm going to cut an eight by 16, which means I'm going to cut an eight by eight square with the fabric folded on the horizontal. So not on that way. We see how this one's all that stretch. That's what we want. When you put the right sides together, you're going to just hot glue along the very bottom. Press that down, let it dry about 30 seconds. So speaking of which, that's what I edited out of this video, the drying time, everything else is the same. It took me under 20 minutes and I even answered a text uh, from my husband. So anyway, now we're going to hot glue up the sides, leave about an inch at the top and then let that set. So when I say let it set, I mean it. So we're gonna just, while that's drying, pull off two of these flowers. I got this one at Michael's and will say, I tried the Dollar Tree, looking at the Dollar Tree poinsettias, even with the whole bunch, it just, it just didn't look great. So if you're gonna do this, a quality faux flower may be a great idea. Check the thrift stores. Once your body is dry, we're gonna flatten it. So you're gonna put the seam in the center and your bottom is gonna turn into a diamond shape. Now you can flip this down like this, either way, that's the shape we need and we need to flip up along the seam in the center to get to this diamond, okay? So we just opened it and flattened it. Now we're gonna take the top uh, part of the diamond and we're gonna fold it over one inch. Does it have to be exact? No but you do have to measure from that little point on the actual uh, fabric, not the end of the fabric with the seam that's hanging off. Then you're gonna put copious amounts of hot glue, a lot of hot glue, and then you're gonna hold it and hold it. And seriously, just hold it until it dries or just let it dry on its own. Next up, we're going to flip it around to the other side and do the same exact thing. You can measure it if you want, but it's about an inch. Sorry for using the metal ruler that I use for my laser, but you know, you can't see it. I promise you it's about an inch. All right. So now you're going to use again, copious amounts of glue, press that down until it's set. Again, I edited all that out. All right. So once that is set and dry and cool, you're just going to flip it right side out. And now you have this nice little box bottom here that is going to hold our little guy up. Now, speaking of little guy, you can make little girl by making braids. I have a lot of videos for that here on the channel using faux fur and yarn. I'm going to put one cup of weight. If you're using mini pellets or whatever, just do about an inch and a half of weight. And then I'm going to use two very large handfuls of polyfill. Now I could have stuffed this a little bit more, um, but I think if you're new and you're starting for a quick Christmas craft, two handfuls of pillow stuffing is enough. I'm asked all the time where I get this. The weight and the stuffing can both be found at Joanne Fabrics or on Amazon, either way. You just need something for weight and something for fill. Now I'm going to use two of these Dollar Tree elastics and I'm going to gather up the top and pop those on. Squeezing my polyfill into place just to make sure everything is distributed down away from this little gathered piece at the top. And then once that's there, just pop that on. Now, because elastics do fail over time and just because they're finicky and moody and need chocolate, um, I'm actually also going to, after banging on the table a few times to distribute the weight, I'm going to tie that up with twine in just a second. So I'm using faux fur for the beard. You can use anything you want, but uh, you can get this on Amazon or at the craft store. And I'm just going to cut about a three inch wide piece. Uh, and I'm using an X-Acto knife to only cut the backing of that fabric. I am going to drop it down and then I'm going to cut a V-shape. Now, I was just showing you there, you can fold down the top like I'm gonna do or you can cut off the top till it's straight. Neither will matter. Like that's the beauty of this. 
you know, you can fix any mistake. It's just crafting. It's not neurosurgery, right? Okay, so we're just gluing that down. You need something for a nose. You can use a flat back or you can use a wood ball or you can use a wood bead. Doesn't matter. I'm going to now add my twine before I glue anything on. And I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times. Now I don't pull it too tight. I do pull it as tight as the rubber bands are, but I wanna make sure I still have an opening for my flower. Cut those little things off because we're gonna glue some stuff around it. Now speaking of what we're gluing around it is the leaves that we pulled off of the two flowers. The reason is is because I'm going to hide that little part at the top with all the twine with those leaves and it just gives it a little dimension. So again, only thing I edited out here was the actual gluing on of the leaves and I'm going around the back and on the sides. We're gonna add more leaves in the front where that little piece of twine is, but in just a second. I cut off any of the excess material at the top, leaving about a half of an inch. And then I combine these two flowers by just popping them on. I forgot about that. Well, apparently, and I'm gonna pop that back in and then pop them on. So, um, I just think it made it a lot fuller. And again, this is a Michael's bunch, which is why this is to me is a full poinsettia flower. The Dollar Tree ones didn't cut it. All right, so now I'm just sticking that, literally sticking it into the center to see where to place my beard. And then I'm just gonna use copious amount of glue to glue the beard down. If you like fun and easy crafts like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like, I'm a really easygoing crafter. I do not hide mistakes because I think we can all learn from them. And if you like Christmas crafting specifically, join me over at Berry and Pine here on YouTube. So I split the fruit to the fabric backing using my scissors and glued on that wood ball. That is a one inch wood ball for reference. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to add in a piece of, or a cut leaf on the left and a cut leaf on the right, just so I can have those underneath hiding all the join of the fabric. And next up, this is the easy part. You just stick the, stick the flower in through the elastics, like right in down into the body. And then that's it. And I zhuzhed it up or zhuzhed it around. I don't know how to say it, but then I had a lint rolling because he's like seriously covered in glitter. And then I glued down the flower both in the front and the back so that I can make sure it stayed. But if you want to take it out for storage, don't glue it in and just pop it in every single time. And that is it for me today with this easy holiday craft. Again, if you like holiday crafts, berry and pine here on YouTube. And if you like easy stuff like this little gnome, like the video and subscribe for more crafty fun.